Research shows that students that transfer schools are at greater educational risk. Each year, incoming freshmen are vulnerable to problems associated with major changes presented to them as they move to high school. Central Harden High School teacher, Kathleen Graybill, says some freshmen feel overwhelmed by the size of their new school. I think for a lot of freshmen, they're a little surprised at how large the school is and how long it tends to take to get from one place to another and how each teacher tends to require something different. So I think sometimes they're a little overwhelmed when they come. Central Harden music teacher and band director David Center says he believes the development of personal responsibility is key to success. Getting things done. Most people fail when I've checked up on them like their grades, looking at their grades and things like that for those who are in band and checking up, seeing how they're doing. Uh, in other classes, math and science and English, it's because they're just not turning stuff in, not doing the work that, they, that they've that they been assigned. So it's just kind of taking that responsibility on and getting stuff done. Guidance counselor Chris Adams agrees that the change from middle school to high school can cause problems. One of the biggest problems I think freshmen encounter is just the shock. Uh, first, the size of the school, you're coming from a middle school where there's less than a thousand students and you're coming into almost two thousand students here and then the difficulty of the classes it's a big switch going from middle school and the classes there with the high school teachers there's a lot more expected of you I think and I think that's one thing the freshman academy has been good for we still keep the freshmen together but you do have a lot more difficulty coming into your classes and then it only ramps up your sophomore year your junior year and into your senior year. Nevertheless, some students seem to be able to find their way through these issues and achieve success. Senior Arata Damdi has made straight A's all of her years in high school. To define success, you need to define, you need to know what success is. I imagine success as a road with many paths and rugged and many twists and turns. Those are obstacles and failures. What success is, success is a point of destination when one overcomes adversity to reach that destination. And to be successful, you have to be hardworking. You have to have very, very hardworking ethic. Um, you have to be determined. You need to set goals, short-term, long-term goals, and stick to it. And you need to persevere. And mainly, you have to have a positive mindset, positive. Domdi says she has three rules that she lives by, no more than others, work more than others, and expect less than others. Senior student Sarah Hetty says she believes school involvement plays a big part in educational success. For incoming eighth graders, I would say you always need to try to get involved as much as you can. Even if you've never tried it before, it's always great to try new things because you never know what you're going to like, and it's always great to find friends and an activity where you fit in. According to Adams, the most successful students are those who challenge themselves. It's easy to take the easiest classes, but you're not going to push yourself and learn what you can do. You need to take a variety of classes. See what, see what you like out there, especially your first couple years as you can. And just be active. If the only thing you do is just school, you're not going to get as much out of it. I think we see that students who are actually more successful are the ones who are in some of the clubs in some of the sports or sport activities, something like that, that really get themselves involved in things. Reporting from Central Harden High School, I'm Dustin Horn.